Hello and welcome to another episode of CBD Shorts. I'm your host Ian and today we're talking about everyone's favorite X-Men couple, Gambit and Rogue. Though they were originally designed as a one-time fling, Rogue and Gambit's extraordinary relationship has been one of the longest-running relationships in comics, as well as an X-Men fan favorite. Their relationship began quickly, the two first meeting when Gambit joined the X-Men at Storm's request. His Cajun charm swayed all of the team, save Wolverine, but his eyes were on only Rogue and an estimated 87% of the other female X-Men. Though it started with seemingly shallow, flippant flirtation on his part and uninterested, moody rejection on hers, they eventually realized the obvious romantic attraction shared between them. Their mutual background of abandonment and strife pulled them together and formed a relationship closer than most every single other X-Men relationship at the time. As with all comic couples, they have had their ups and downs, but they seem to have cemented themselves as a lasting relationship. At least, so it appears. Now, if I wanted to take the easy route, I could simply say that they won't work because of how fickle their young love is. Both tend to flirt with others, Gambit especially and perhaps a case could be made based on their unfaithfulness. But in fact, by Gambit's own vulnerable admission, though he might flirt, his heart has always been with Rogue. No, the issue is not unfaithfulness, but rather basic human motivations. You see, Gambit was raised without the moral qualms that come with heroism. This is an essential part of his nature, and actually formed his propensity for flirting. Rogue, on the other hand, was exposed to the same sort of moral ambiguity that Gambit had seen by way of her adopted mother, Mystique, and instead of coming away with a similar ambiguity, she identified the flaws in Mystique and chose her own identity. This identity brought with it an aversion to the moral gray area touted by her mother and and by Gambit. She may not have always been in the right, but she knew the difference between morality and immorality, and refused to hide inside the gray areas. Though the rebellious immorality in Gambit initially drew her in, her fundamental disdain for blurred lines is a large part of what makes Gambit and Rogue so toxic. This isn't the only reason, unfortunately. See, Rogue has always had a fundamental rebelliousness ingrained in her being. She was forced to find her own identity as a child, independently of authority. It's this rebellious independence that tore at the fabric of their relationship. Though Gambit truly loved her, and perhaps she truly loved him, their incessant struggles to push each other away create a relationship with doom written in its stars. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed these CBD shorts, and if you do, remember you can contact us by email at comicbookdirect at gmail.com, or you can go onto our website or even the YouTube comments to tell us if you like this or what you want to see more of. We'd appreciate if you checked out the podcast as well, which happens every Saturday so long as we can fit it in. Again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.